a city established on the edge of the mountains on a high plateau on the ancient Roman Ignatia Road, Monaster, developed in trade linked to Thessaloniki via railway, an administrative and military center. Monaster, an Ottoman city rich in cultural and ethnic diversities. The city that hosted consulates of many countries was enormously lively and modern. Monaster became a center of freedom and later a hub of revolutionary and liberal thoughts in the Ottoman world and left unforgettable impressions on Mustafa Kemal's life. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk cheerfully hummed this song about Monaster countless times throughout his life as an indication of his joy and happiness. Mustafa Kemal spent his days at the military high school in this city. He enrolled in Monaster Military High School in 1895. He had many famous schoolmates. His most trusted and best friends were Ali Fethi Okyar and Kazim Ozalp, as well as Mr. Enver and Mr. Niazi, who had significant roles in the announcement of the constitutional monarchy. He became familiar with the poems and literature of the most important poets and authors of his generation. A friend of his, whom he met in high school, was very influential in his passion of poetry, improvement of rhetoric, successful usage of Ottoman language, and enthusiasm to write well. Omar Naji, who had a reputation as the class poet and orator. Mustafa Kemal's love of poetry was so strong that he even tried to write some. His passion and interest in poetry and literature contributed to his internalization of concepts like homeland and nation. He started reading the poems of Nam Kemal, the poet of homeland and freedom, with great enthusiasm during this period. Mustafa Kemal was not only an Ottoman in the Monaster Military High School any longer, he was also a Nam Kemal-style patriot and a freedom fighter. In the meantime, Mustafa Kemal was also trying to improve his French and started reading French authors' books in the original language. As a result, he nourished the ideas of revolution, freedom, and independence. He had great pleasure in reading historical literature from other countries and his homeland. He loved classes of his history teacher, Mr. Mehmet Tefik, and his literature teacher, Mr. Mehmet Asim. While he pursued his military career, he became aware of the problems his country was facing. The rise of nationalistic feelings in the Balkan states also grew in his heart. Mustafa Kemal graduated from this high school in 1898 and earned the right to study in the military academy based in Istanbul. 